Good afternoon. Be happy to answer any questions that I can. Think of the bobblehead. What? What would you think of the bobblehead? It's a great bobblehead, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was going to be well. We mishandled a pass. You know, perhaps a game ending uh, pass should have been caught, wasn't caught. That hurt us. And then we had a false start. And usually uh, that'll cost you. So um, we learned from that. I thought the second offense did a nice job. And uh, it's an area that we'll continue to work on against the Rams when they get here tomorrow. We'll have another two minute drill to end practice. It seems like there was some miscommunication. Yeah, we had we had one uh, where Derek changed the play late, and probably uh, you know had a little misunderstanding there with his wide receiver. We got to make the corrections. Going live, John, at the goal line, having Jacobs do a little mini Marcus Allen over the pile there. I mean, that's got to get the juices flowing for these guys as far as hitting and, and feeling. That yeah, we got a lot of new players here yeah. on offense and defense. Two new tight ends. You know, we got to have point of attack block in, obviously. Perfect middle linebacker. It's not an easy yard to make down there. So it's a good run by Jacobs. He's doing a lot of things well. We're pleased with him. Do you feel like either like the offense or the defense has had the upper hand more in the team sessions you guys have I think it's been a combination of both. You know, we make some plays on offense and then they make some plays on defense. And uh, be anxious to see where we are against the Rams tomorrow. Very good team coming in there. I think they're excited. I think anybody would be excited to break the monotony a little bit, hit somebody else, see a different scheme, and uh, play some situations, see what we've learned. As a coach and evaluator, for you, what's the value of two days of joint practices with your team? Well, you get a chance to see a great team, number one. You get a chance to uh, take a look at your young corners against some talented veteran receivers. You get a chance to look at uh, different aspects of your football, your red zone offense, your red zone defense. We already talked about two minute. Uh, we're going to take a look at our pass protection. Have we improved it or have we not? Tomorrow will be a great gauge because they're loaded up front. Back a little bit on the field today. Yeah. Was Waller still a bit like, not ready to go? Or? Yeah, I don't think Darren's going to practice against the Rams. He still has a mild shoulder problem. We're being smart with him, but he's able to do some individual. Good to have Jalen back. Quentin Bell returned today for the first time in over a week. Um, so hopefully we get some healthy guys out here tomorrow. Paul Butler made his return to practice today. So uh, we'll see what happens. But I think Waller will be out until after the preseason game against the Rams. Last year, you guys had joint practices with the Lions, and you look at both of your rosters now. You have Devin Lawson. They try to get Paul Butler, you block them. They have Rashawn Melvin. While you're evaluating your own roster, are you also evaluating the yeah, other teams? That's a good point, yeah, absolutely. We'll take a good look at the Rams. They'll take a good look at our players. That's why you have all these personnel people uh, watching the, the scrimmage from different angles and. Uh, different responsibilities, so personnel evaluation is big for both sides. We haven't heard officially from the league. Um, I did not see Nevin's post, but uh, we haven't heard anything official from the league. And uh, with that being said, I'll be respectful of that and not say anything else. I have nothing new on that, no. I have no new news. Can you say, can you say whether or not he's on the premises? The no, I can't. No, he's uh, he's uh, gathering information, and I'll uh, I'll bring you up to speed when I know something. But I'm not going to sit up here and speculate anymore. Are you confident that he'll be where he needs to be, week one, on the field, ready to go? I'm not going to answer any more questions. I have no information uh, until I hear. So I... Uh, I'm just going to continue to get ready for the scrimmage tomorrow. On other receivers, what have you thought of Keelan Doss out here? I like Keelan. I said that all along. He's playing three positions, and he's uh, making some difficult catches against very good defenders. Uh, doing a good job. He's in the mix. He's going to play a lot in these preseason games. So he'll get a great opportunity. Is there anything you've tried to urge Jacobs to learn from Drew in these next couple of days? I mean, like you just watch him. Just watch him work. You know, watch him work. You know, just watch how he uh, handles the blitz protections and the audibles. They do a lot at the line of scrimmage in different tempos, and he is a sharp guy. He's very sharp.
He's not just a great runner, and he's not just a stat machine. This guy does a lot of great things without the ball, and I hope uh, Josh gets a chance to witness it. How will you guys handle John tonight, the debut episode of Hard Knocks? You guys watch it as a team. Will you tell him to leave it alone, ignore it? What, what, I don't. You know what? I uh, maybe some guys will put it on. A, I don't know what it's even called, where you can record it, watch it whenever you can. But we're not going to be eating Cracker Jacks and peanuts and watching it. We got meetings. We got the Rams coming in here, and uh, I know players. I'm sure are excited to see the show. They've done a good job, the Hard Knocks people here, and uh, putting it together. I'm. I'm uh, I'm not going to say anything further because I'll be in a meeting. <laughs> no, I have not. I know Will Kiss has seen it, so if you want any sneak previews, <laughs> Will Kiss, I think, I think Mike Mayock saw it. But no, I have not seen it. Good. What's the uh, upside for uh, Jonathan Hankins? What did he bring last year? Nice and close shape this year. What do you see? You know what? He was a heck of a player coming out of Ohio State and a second round pick. Did some good things with the Giants now. Got a big contract to go to Indianapolis, and the system change probably uh, didn't fit him. Um, he was on the street. We got him in here late last year, early last season after training camp, and uh, you're right. He has arguably been our most improved player and most impactful defensive lineman so far. He has uh, got much better stamina. Uh, he can play hash to hash, and uh, I really like where he is a lot. So you guys, you, know, uh, you were able to sign off the street, you brought in Nathan Westbrook, Westbrook's a couple days into camp. How have you seen him catching? Yeah, I mean, he's, look, he's got a history in this league, and I liked him a lot. Uh, when I was studying football, he's, he's a grinder. He is a Gruden grinder kind of guy. He can play the six technique. I think he uh, did that today against our tight ends in the run period. He's a good inside rusher, been well trained under under the Rams with Mike Waffle, a great defensive line coach. So he's an Oakland kid. He's got a lot at stake, and uh, his versatility is, is going to put him in the mix. Well, we back to Hankins. He's had seven sacks on season. Do you think that, that uh, he can maybe get back to him? Yeah, I hope so. I mean, I hope so. We're counting on that. You know, we need to get some inside rush. We need to get some outside rush. We need to get some old rush. Morrow to me has stood out. You know, Morrow is really playing well. Uh, he's finding the ball and he is fast. And I'm really impressed with Nick. And, and Lee has also gotten better. You know, so I think the addition of Burfick, the addition of Brandon Marshall, the fact that they're in their second year in the system, we have seen some improvement. And I think the biggest battle, uh, one of the biggest battles, is the punter. You know, A.J. Cole came out again today and has really put himself in position to win the job. And I'm not saying he's in the lead or he's going to win the job, but he's putting himself in position for one hell of a battle here in the next couple of games. A.J. Cole, as a holder, where, where is he? Good. And he's a kickoff guy. You know, he can kick off, uh, he can hold, and he can punt. He's got a great leg. And, um, you know, Johnny Townsend and A.J. are going to have a real battle in these first few preseason games. All set? All right. All right, Thank guys. You. Have a great day. Thanks, Coach.